Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Regicide, Hello. Season 2, Session 14, Season Finale, actually, and our last little portion here. Um, awesome. Last, the, the stream so far today has been you guys fighting a loper, <laughs> like a legit loper, for the first time. Um, combat got a little wonky for reasons, um, and you seem to have found a kink in its armor. And uh, blasting through that kink a couple of times, you're actually able to hurt it pretty well. Um, and then eventually remove its head. You've been carrying it across town, where eventually you put it down and let it rest for about an hour inside of um, the, 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 the Orpheum, uh, this old beat-up, broken-down theater inside the, the city of Momley, um, that the, your ragtag group has been uh, starting its little revolution from. Um, you were able to go back there, but remember, everybody else had mobilized, moved out of here. So you guys going to the Orpheum, it's actually rather eerie, more so than it always has been beforehand, because at least... It used to be Laszlo with his men, uh, Nightingale, you guys. Whatnot. There was a bit of volume to it. What's it's been completely empty for for uh, a while now. You guys going into it, it's like eerily quiet. So you're just like sitting there and like wrapping up your wounds or, or trying to just grab like a bite to eat or relax or whatever it is. It's like eerily quiet in there. Almost has this like doom kind of feeling around you. This like gloomy kind of feeling. Um, you guys, of course, do your, uh, your rest. Messy, I don't know, do, you're bard. Do you have the ability to do Song of Rest at your level? No. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was next level or this level. So, um, you don't have Song of Rest. You guys spend any HD to, oh, you already rolled them there while I was peeing upstairs. Um, yep. everybody's happy with how many HD they spent? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Perfect. Uh, you get back all of your powers. Do you role play anything else while you're inside the Orpheum talk about anything of importance or? Um... That uh, Ophios would take the, uh, basically go to grab the bag of holding and in handing it back to Rena's, he'd just say, this is our shots. This is one opportunity of a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> Are your knees weak? <laughs> Arm spaghetti? Yeah. Arm spaghetti. <laughs> Arm spaghetti. on a sweater already. Sweet Arm homemade spaghetti. sauce and spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I know. Um, uh, no, Ophios would simply say, Renus, this is the moment. We must get this man's and kill him before everybody else. Are you ready to rally the people around you? And are you ready to carry the burdens of your names being the ones with the targets on its backs? Yeah, I've been prepared for that, but Elvios, don't you get a weird feeling about what's going on here? In what's ways? Lopers? Yeah, this just doesn't feel like the last time we killed one, and, and somehow this one was much stronger. It barely took all four of us to take it down. Yes. And if, if, this, is a, if this is one of the nobles, then Surely the other one, or the other two, possibly, could None. be Lopers as well. We've already killed the accountants, and I'm prepared for this one to potentially be ones. And I've heard stories of how strong they could be. And yes, this one was different than I've encountered before. But defeated it, we did. Took damages, we did. So he'd show you the crystal, and you'd see the crack. It saved my life's. Is that, is that something we can fix? Hopefully. But, nonetheless, what's done is done. The path is before us, and it comes down to your choice. I mean, I will do what I said I would do. You still have a choice. I know, but I made a promise to you both and I intend to keep it. I do need to talk to Vance again before we leave, but I'll prepare. And I will say stuff before you speak if you would like. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. 
During the hour that passes, and I know you're going to have a conversation with Vance in a moment. During the hour that passes, um, Yonda gives a little bit of time to kind of sit there and think. Yonda, you could actually roll me a history check with, with uh, advantage. Really? Okay. Nice. You know that that was the commander you killed. Mm-hmm. You knew before that this commander was Lee Kringal. As a reminder, the Kringal family is one of the most influential, if not the individual most influential family in all of right. Paradell. Of course. The implications of that perhaps weren't uh, found on him before because it was a surviving mm. the moment, fighting a loper, and so on and so forth, but he settled on him now in his rest. So is that Giannis realizing that that whole family is lopers now? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. The Kringal family mm-hmm. doesn't just have members and cities. They also have princes, um, which are the leaders of individual provinces. And one of the Tarumbar, you're pretty sure, is a, is a Kringal. Uh, Tarumbar, for the viewers, is one of the kings. This nation, everything's done in threes. So mm-hmm. there, are, there are three different Tarumbar or kings, uh, or they can be male or female. Um, those Tarumbar each control three different provinces. Um, uh, those provinces each have a, a prince, which again can be either male or female. Um, and they each have, each province is broken into three different, like almost like counties that are controlled by uh, major cities. Uh, those major cities are then controlled by three different people. Um, the major city they're in here is called Mombly in the province of uh, Vala. Um, they already killed two of the three people that control this more or less county or city state or whatever it is. Um, there's one left, and that's what they were talking about going after. Um, so, Yondas on this realization, um, we're inside the Orpheum. Um, Correct. Does, does the Orpheum have a supply of perhaps scrolls or no. ink? Remember, it's so old and beat up. Nobody's used this place in nearly a decade, whatever it is. And any supplies are actually of value. Lazlo's men would have been using uh, something like scrolls, toilet paper. Well, not, not, okay, gotcha. Yeah, cool. Um, so, there's nothing for re- me to write down anything with. I mean, your own supplies. You have stuff. That's true. I do have a forgery kit. That's right. Um, I'll um, I'll use my forgery kit to, or whatever I had that I used for a forgery kit last time, and I would uh, on a just a regular whatever I can find just to keep with me, um, like something to write on. I would just kind of sketch out what I remember in my head of their family tree. From what I've been like, from what sure, I've sure, sure. With your twenty-two history check, sure, absolutely. And then I, don't, I, I don't have that in front of you right now, but it's something I can get for you before. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, sure. So yeah. I would I would sketch that out and um, to, to the best of my knowledge, and then I would find the ones that we know are dead, or you know the one we just killed. Basically, is the only one that I can remember that we know of, and I would just kind of scratch his name out, um, just like an X, not like so you can't read it. And then I would uh, I would turn it around on the table and I just push it forward and I tap on it and I'd say, "Do you guys know what this is?" Paper. No. Goes back to picking his hammer. Obvious <laughs> looks at it and he just goes, names. <laughs> that's better than everyone else's guess. Thank you, Obvious. Yeah. <laughs> this name, and I point to the one that's crossed out, that's the guy we just killed. And the rest of this is his family. Kings, princes, rulers, very wealthy, well-known people in Paradise. So as I suspected, lopers are everywhere. And I'd kind of trace my hand up to the top of the uh, family tree there. This is the this is the person that guy or girl I don't know what it is. Uh, this is the person that calls the shots. Everyone else following orders from this chain. It's, it's not a family tree as much as it is a order of power. Are you saying that ones at the tops would be more? of a threats power wise and combat than the others. Yes. Even ones V ones. Yeah. More magics. Yeah. They're, look, they're, they're going to be more important to, to kill and also a lot harder to kill. Uh, Tarumbar Harwi. Um, that is actually the, um, uh, is a Kringal. Uh, they go by the title Turambar Harwi. Um, 
That is the Kringal, oh, sorry, that is the uh, the Trumbar that controls the Delagus, uh, Leiden, and Parenthia, uh, portions of the uh, the nation, which is like the eastern portion of the nation. You guys are currently in the western portion of the nation, not to be confused yeah. with the southern portion. Um, their real name, their birth name, was um, uh, Zeli, oh, sorry, Zeli Kringal. She um, is a, a yeah. king, or a Turumbar. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, Plex, you know it would help with this, said uh, a map. <laughs> um, I do actually <laughs> hey, have... Hey, Drew. So do it's funny, in my, in, my, in, my other, in my other campaign, I actually have one. Give me one second, I can actually pull it up. I yeah, it's, it up it's, it's the campaign. one Doxy and Will's in, right? Yeah, 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 I just haven't set it up for this game, because it never really happened before. Um, Doxy, that, Will, Josh. The Throne Keeper campaign has it, so let me just pop nice. over that game real quick. And I can actually put that up there for you, no problem, chat. Um, while you're working on that, um, Ophios would, would uh, look to Flint and be like, so, men's? <laughs> what about men? He's po he's pointing at his crystal, the, the men's. Oh, men's. yeah, I mean, I could probably fix the crack, uh, but I can't put the magic back. He'd grab it and be like, if you're willing to let me give it a try. For the first time, you guys might see Ophios take his crystal off, but he has, like, his hand on his blade noticeably <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> oh, Yondis yeah. and I are just watching him, like... <laughs> um, but Rena would go over to Yondis and say, so what does this mean in terms of... I don't know. <laughs> Is well, this, I mean, have we just done something that's way bigger than what we're trying to do here? Well, yes, but here, here's the thing. This list is a family tree, of course. Um, when a few a few things about this list are important. Uh, when one of these people die, they all hear about it eventually. And when they all hear about one of these people dying, that's 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 that's, that's a problem. You get what I'm saying? Yes, I follow. So this is a family tree as much as it is the people who are going to try to kill us. Yes. And also our hit list. So yes. just for chat's uh, sake, well, what I was describing beforehand, um, like I said, there's three different um, uh, provinces that are under the control of each Turumbar. The one Turumbar that we were referring to, Turumbar um, Harwi, has the Delagus, which is the brownish one all the way to the east. There's uh, Leiden, which is broken into two portions, broken up by the Barren Lands, which is Leiden A and Leiden O. And there's Parenhia, which is actually the most wealthy uh, individual portion the most wealthy uh, uh, of all of them. Um, uh, it is arguable that Taramba Harwi is the most powerful, most influential, um, just by far the best um, uh, of all of them. So much so that the fact that um, her non-wife, I should say life partner, because they didn't get married, um, is actually a um, is actually a prince of one of the um, uh, the other nations. It's illegal for your spouse uh, or immediate family to have another high position, a uh, high tier position. So um, they, so they um, coincidentally never married, right? When one of them stepped into a position, they just called off the wedding and they just happened to spend a lot of time together. A lot of time together. But um, but yeah, they... Um, they and we're in, it broke we're in Vala, right? Vala. You guys are in Vala, um, which okay. is the uh, top left corner, specifically in the area where, if, I don't know if you can even see my... I can see it right on that river. Yeah, so to, to the uh, right of the A in the word Vala is literally yep. a little town right there that says... I can try to zoom in. Bam! It's mom. I see it. Yep. So... And then, for the record, just while we have a bunch of people actively watching at the moment, Kingmaker takes place in Adir, and um, uh, Throne Keeper takes place currently there in Jovencia, but um, they're usually in a nation called Amalta, just to the left of this map. Continue, guys. Didn't mean to interrupt you. So, um, question, because uh, right now, Flint is mending Ophios's crystal. The question there becomes... Uh, does that heal the crystal in the way that Ophios would like? So he's mending it. Um, it takes some time for him to do this. Obviously, it's part of the short rest. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Um, uh, he needs to make me an Arcana check. <laughs> it explodes. You all die. Rocks fall. Sure thing. We are, I already tried rocks fall. You all die. <laughs> I almost got one of you, but chat gave me a all right. level 5 Wish hype train to save him. Give me some good, good juju over here. Bad juju. Yeah! 
Why would Aww. you do that? Why would you say bad juju right before I roll? He See, tries to repair, it, but unfortunately, what I was going to describe to you beforehand, Tyler, not only did it have cracks in it, but a chip had popped out. So had things gone well, maybe this would have gone differently, but with that little broken chip that was out of there, as he tries to heal the thing, because this thing is so powerful and magical, with that chip missing out of there, uh, as he tries to heal it, it actually causes it to stress um, um, uh, the mending in all the wrong places, causing those cracks to heal, but other ones to form, maybe even making more cracks than there were before he even started. Boo, hiss, that's not how mending works. <laughs> yeah. It's also not how this, these crystals aren't typical crystals, are they? No, but even if they were magical, that's okay. Well, how about my banjo then? Oh, I could do that way easier. And I hand <laughs> I hand the crystal back, like watching to see if like the sudden movement makes him like maybe attack at me because I saw his hand on his hilt. And he you... puts it back on him, but he's not happy. After you take it, he just like grabs the banjo. See, banjos are easier. He looks at it like, "Oh, right, this is what a banjo is." Um, yeah, I'll try. It's, it's like it's got a drum, and then there's strings. Yeah, he casts mending on it. Sure. So you cast um, uh, Mending on it. Roll me another Arcana check. This is for a different reason. Okay. I really hope this goes bad, actually. Oh, shit. <laughs> you actually mend it no problem. The the Fuck. thing is not going to have any issues moving forward. God damn it. <laughs> Look, see? How many bards hate their instrument? So <laughs> Two out of three. Two out of three. So, so How many bards Scott, can... <laughs> is there... Ah, uh, we can figure this out as the game goes on. We're ending the season. We need to get back into what we need to get done. So you guys finished your short rest. Rena, you wanted to chat with Vance. Yes, he of I course did. did not overhear those conversations. He was kind of just lying off and relaxing somewhere. Okay, yeah, I'll find him. Um, where do I find him? I'm oh, just lying off, relaxing, separated from the rest of the party. So he wasn't oh. listening to your chats or anything. Okay, just I'll just say, um, uh, Vance, can I talk to you for a second? Of course, you saved my life. Actually, I think it was. Um, uh, two lives, since they double sentenced me for life. <laughs> uh, she'll chuckle. Um... He laughs as well. He's like, it, it is a funny notion, isn't it? Get it? Getting more than one life sentence. I've heard rumor that people have had four or five life sentences. Sounds like an asinine system to have, but... I'm gonna, I'm gonna whisper to Ophios. Get a load of this guy. Am I not anywhere near them, though? Aren't we like you're you're, you're, you're separated from them? Yeah. Yeah. They, they, yeah. They're, we're not near them. They're off. Sorry, guys. Each other. Uh, <laughs> you said get a load of this guy to Ophios. He just say, yeah. "What do you mean?" <laughs> well, it's like picking his nose. <laughs> anyway, um, it's lost I just you. wanted to. I just wanted to ask you, how exactly did they turn against you? The people. Mm -hmm. They didn't seem, they were swayed at first. They liked the idea, they liked the movement. But once it actually started to gain traction, it just stopped. Like, their will was broken. I can't describe it, but they just stopped. They fought against us, even those that were allied with our movement before not the core of it obviously we all stayed together until we were broken apart but the the fringe and the people that were actually trying to liberate the craziest part was even those in Clemay they also resisted it was bizarre but <laughs> they did it nonetheless do you think this was something of their own choice? Or do you think something else might have affected them? <laughs> I would like to believe. And in my, some years ago, I did believe. They acted so strangely. I told myself that something must have just changed their mind, affected their mind. How could they have turned at a dime so quickly? But that was just me being foolhardy, you know, thinking that I was more capable of what I wanted to accomplish than any man or woman is. And unfortunately, I i was a fool. Of course, they weren't going to follow me to as far as we wanted to take it. They, 
I was a fool to try. At least with what I had to offer. Maybe you'll succeed where I failed. And how did they capture you in the end? They brought an army to our doorstep. We could have fought to the last and died, but I gave them the order to put their weapons down. Too many would have just died for nothing. I understand. Well, thank you for sharing that with me. And I, I'm going to try my best to succeed, if possible. If you actually survive this night and want me to aid you, I'll do what I can. I, I haven't lost the fire, just... Perhaps it's just burning low. But what might be able to, I suppose, help me is... If we could find, if we can get a hold of any of my old companions, those that aided me in the past... I think together we might be able to do more for you than just me alone. Probably not a conversation to have today, but something to keep in mind. Maybe it's the fire you need to push through whatever trials you're about to encounter. Well, I appreciate the support, and we definitely want you to come with us. If you're willing. Um, honestly... I'm a little advanced in age, and I'm a little beat up at the moment, so I'm more than willing. Um, I just don't know if I'm entirely able. We won't ask you to join this fight now. I'll be there for the war. Let's just try to keep it to a war of the minds, a war of ideals, and less to needless bloodshed. Remember, most parent soldiers were in Clamay at one point in time. They don't necessarily have to die. Oh, the way you say, the way you say, I know. You mm -hmm. say they don't necessarily. You say no, and of course the tone that comes with it, because yeah. your own backstory. He yeah. just kind of like lets it drop off. Um, I have one last question. Go for um, it. any other advice for me when talking to the people? I wish I could give you advice, but I failed. Um, be you. If you put on too much of a face, too much of an act, people inevitably see through it. They're smarter. Even mobs, which are morons, they're smarter than I gave them credit for, I guess. They'll see through whatever act you try to put on. Be you. They'll decide if they love that person or not. That's on them. She'll just nod. And she'll she'll get up to to turn back to where they are. Um, before leaving, she'll just say, "You can stay here, um, for as long as it's safe." And at some point, we will come back. Okay. Um, Tyler, you're trying to say something. Yeah, I was going to say Ophius was going to walk over uh, before we left and give him a healing potion. Sure. Um. Uh Mm -hmm. Depending on how bad he looks, whether it's light wounds or major wounds. Um, uh, you can give him a major. That's fine. <laughs> you want me to lose a major wounds as opposed what? to the other one? No. That's fine. What? No. Totally not. You can also no. cast a... I have healing. Uh, shh. You. Word. You so shh. Heal him. Good. You, you want to cast healing word on him? Sure. Yeah. You, I got to tune my banjo first. Yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> oh, no, I'm giving him the potion. Don't worry about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, the potion's fine. <laughs> you know what? Actually, guys, since my banjo did just get mended, I think I should too. I see Yana's about to play the banjo. I'm like, no. <laughs> you guys don't like my banjo playing? What is wrong with his banjo? I fixed it. It should be all. I just got to tune it, yeah, guys. Yeah, don't it. worry about it. It's fine. Crystals. We got to go. <laughs> anyway, he took the potion. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he actually says We're, we gotta we gotta get on the move he actually will say to you um uh, honestly rena i'm feeling pretty fine right now with um that potion that you gave me it was um it's it's i'm feeling really well if you want me to come along i certainly will uh Ophios would interrupt so. and just say, you stays here since stays safe. I think it's safer for you here. For now, anyway. I mean, you saw that thing. I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> he sits back down. 
Be we'll safe try to there. be back soon. Mm -hmm. uh, Ophios would also simply say, and stays hidden. Okay. So um, you, uh, he stays there and kind of he's going to keep. He's going to be the only person inside the entire Orpheum. So he's going to be fine, and you guys can shoot, lock it up behind you, like board it up, whatever behind you, and you leave. When you guys leave, the streets actually have people inside them now. Like you can see them kind of like filtering through, but there's a reputation of what was seen. And the Vardar carrying the commander's corpse around with you still um, has an impact on everybody. Blood on you guys, carrying a, a head in one of your hands and a body over the shoulder. For the head one. is left in the Orpheum. Everything's left in the Orpheum. You look, the oh, you, my apologies, you left the corpse in the Orpheum? Yeah, yeah, we would have hit it. And that hour rest would have been a lot of prestidigitation cleaning everyone up. Well, on a public should display? we have left the head? Yeah. Well, Maybe the head would the, the head. head would the head would be in my backpack. Okay. Leave the body. I cleaned all the blood and dirt. It's either in my backpack or in the bag of holding. I believe it was in the bag of holding before, so it'd probably be in the bag of holding. Okay, so I have the head. Yeah. Okay. Also, I have my armor on, and I grabbed one of the battle axes you gave me earlier, just so you know. Perfect. And you, you're so, Rita, you're bringing the head with you, just to be clear, to leaving the body behind. It's bringing just the head, yeah. Okay, perfect. And did you, uh, and you did clean up your bodies and whatnot, so you uh, were yeah. to the station. Okay. And yeah. just as a reminder for you, how you guys, uh, uh, for again newer viewers, um, the way presentation works, it doesn't just make the uh, the uh, stains might not go away. It kind of just like balls them up for you, so you can. <laughs> drop them somewhere if you'd like so more or less this is like a big old mess of whatever was on you is in a corner somewhere it doesn't eliminate it it just conveniently relocates it for you <laughs> yeah <laughs> perfect yeah ew so uh anyways we're um, keeping the head for a reason there was a reason we kept the head last time josh just, don't even <laughs> just saying presentation would be amazing right now with the tp crisis going on at the moment so but oh, anyways yeah, yeah. <laughs> too real so um you uh, you guys uh, heading out into the streets and making way. Again, so you actually don't attract as much attention, but you do still have Rena with you. She is a local celebrity. I Horses. I, oh, you get a ride on horses? Are we bringing the horses? That's fine. Yep. One was left over by the barracks, though. Well, we you, don't have enough for all of us. That we have two. You would be on one. Okay. You guys are able to um, uh, uh, hop onto the horses and go. I want you to do me a favor and roll me a, um, uh, what's it called? A, uh, brain's not working, I'm sorry. Animal handling? No, 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 no. Um, a, fame, a, a fame check for me, please. How do we do that again? So it's gonna be a one D20 plus, give me a moment, I'm grabbing the number right now. I love how I made that uh, presentation TP crisis joke and uh, a bunch of people dropped on that one. I love it when my jokes make people run away. Am I rolling this for <laughs> Look, the party? I know they're cringy. Who wants to yeah, roll? Yeah, yeah, okay. you can roll it. That's you roll it, Tyler. Um, and there's my number. It's 1d20 plus 10. Ah, oh, too bad. So again, people know who Rena is and uh, and whatnot, so they, they can clearly tell that she's um, um, who she was because of all the RP stuff mentioned in previous sessions. But it's not like you have like a crowd of people gathering up behind you or anything like that. A couple, sure, but there's no like swell of masses walking behind you guys. Just a few that are interested in seeing where you're going. Rena, do you keep the head out at your side or do you um, leave it in the bag? Hmm. Keep it out. I'm gonna. Yeah, like kind of tie it to maybe my side, so it kind of just it's like a, hangs a, there. Surprise. Tyler, can you also mm -hmm. roll me an infamy check? It's a 1d20 plus, uh, sorry, plus 10 or minus 10, sorry. So it's a 1d20, um, actually, minus 14. 1d20 minus 14? Mm-hmm. What did this roll? Hey. Oh! Um, so, so... Why do I roll bad on the one I want good and good on the one I want bad? <laughs> you, you get ire from some of the people that are watching after you guys as well. Some of the people watching you are just kind of like eyes narrowed, not very happy with what it is that they see. You're literally walk, riding down the streets with a noteworthy and recognizable head for those that can actually make out the features. Not everybody can make out the facial features of a, of a decapitated head. You are able to ride up to the palace... There's nobody that stops you. As I said before, in this campaign that you've raged through this town for the past few weeks with all the soldiers and everybody, they have had their impact. There are no guards to stop you. At the same time, though, you're kind of hoping to see Laszlo with his men there to 
support you or guide you as well, you don't see them either. Like it's just us. Should I knock? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ophios just kind of nods and kind of chuckles. <laughs> you don't even <laughs> knock. So it's, a, it's, it's, it's like a decent sized place that you're going into. I don't want to say it's um, a palace or a castle because it's not that grandiose, but it's pretty damn near close to it, right? Are we like in a courtyard? Yeah, so you so to continue describing. You guys eventually do, of course, get through a courtyard where ugh, get the grass on the other side of it. It's not as well maintained as maybe as it would have been in the past. Sure, there are servants and whatnot that did take care of it in Clemay, um, future Paradell people, but um, but no, not to the degree that it would have been a decade plus ago when there was significantly more money in the city. You ride across the courtyard. There's nobody in it to watch you. You eventually get to the uh, the door itself. The door is shut. Uh, right up a couple of steps to get to the double doors. It is shut. Do you say you knock? Yeah, with my hammer. I figured. Um, what kind of knock do you do, sir? I, uh, uh all right. Do, 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 do. <laughs> all right, he goes. <laughs> if you're going to make me. All right, he says. Yeah, one of those, dun, 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 with my oh, hammer. I, I'm sorry, I thought you were being funny and you were actually going to blast it. Oh, I think he was serious. Okay. No, so I'm not going to booming it? blade it with my hammer. I'm just going to knock with my hammer. No, no, nobody answers, needless to say. <laughs> Ophios just kind of laughs and tries to push the door open. Hey, Flynn, oh. knock louder. Uh, uh, uh just, just, just won't go in? Ophios tries to open the door. In. Uh, All It's right. actually barred from the other side. Hey Flint, can you knock really hard? <laughs> that's, that's hitting it with his hammer. He's he's throwing his whole shoulder into it. He's not can booming o blading, but he can is... Ophios time it so that he Eldridge blasts it at the same time. You can like Eldridge blast right before the spot that he hits or whatever it is to bash in. You guys can eventually blast open the door with just hammer blows and Eldridge blasts. I won't lie though. It's not fast, it's not graceful. It's double doors, very heavy and barred from the other side. And it's just using a, a war hammer and Eldritch Blast aren't enough Wait. to just open it up easily. Hmm? Are there windows that I can see inside? <laughs> oh, um, uh, there, there are, so again, it's not quite a palace, but it's definitely grandiose. There's a stained glass windows off to the side that you would be able to see a little bit in. I'm gonna look in and do a perception roll before I do what I'm gonna do. <laughs> roll a perception check, sir. Yes. <laughs> you don't see any guards or anything like that um, from the angles, or whatever that you can see through there. You can just see that that first room, which is kind of like a, an antechamber. He'll look. He'll look to his his command. <laughs> his uh, to Yandis, Rena, and um, Flinton goes. Perhaps I can open it from the insides. Kind of like questioning to see if any of them respond before he does it. Uh, if you want, you want to break that beautiful piece of art. Um, hold on, That's... just to be just to be clear for chat. Hammer, hi Hammer. Thanks for hanging out again, Hammer. Um, if I had to guess, the fan is moving the the curtain. The curtain is sometimes breaking up the amount of light that's passing between the monitor and whatever highly reflective thing is on the shelf, which is making it sometimes shine and sometimes shaded. Which I think chat's just pulling. Yeah, trying they're to trying to, to look around. Which they're is fun. See, I'm not freaked out by the fan. I'm not freaked out by the curtain. I'm not freaked out by the reflection. However, I do see a Furby on that shelf that does look like it's moving, and it's freaking uh -huh. out a little. <laughs> <laughs> if only it was a Furby. Well. Yeah, I'd have it sitting, like, right here. No, on that's not cool. You can disadvantage And I'd be chair. like, I'd be, like, leaning here, and then I'd be like, oh, what? Oh, and then the Furby, like, starts moving, like. Tokyo <laughs> draws his sword and shield. And uh, go t teleports inside. So, um, yep, you teleport inside. Immediately when you teleport inside, you hear what the f as uh, <laughs> as you completely catch a guard off off Keep off guard it. that was on the other side of the doors. <laughs> ah! I mean, <laughs> so honestly, selfish. you get the drop on him as to whether or not you or him get to attack first. Um, uh, roll initiative really quickly. Let me clear it. Let me clear it. You always do this to us, Obi. <laughs> <laughs> He, he literally asked. You guys started talking about something else. Well, this is happening. <laughs> All right, we cleared. We yep. good? Yep. That card never answered. I rolled a natty one. one. The I rolled a six. <laughs> so, so just so chat, lucky. Uh, just so chat understands, 
You need your action. What's going on here? If you roll, with the way I do things, if you roll a natty 1 or a natty 20 on your initiative roll, a natty 1, you lose your standard action or action uh, that first round. On a natty 20, you get an additional one. It's just like a fun little thing we do. Sir, you definitely get to go first. Um, It's your turn. What do you do? Attack him. Duh. Slit his throat. Ah! Awesome! You draw your um, uh, you foul. I imagine he like ducks, and I hit the the bar do, on the door. And do you my not have a reroll? Stuck. I thought you had a reroll, Tyler. He, he never. No, no, no. He used it earlier to get the extra. Time. Oh, that's right. Do that's you, right. sir? A quick question. Do you, sir? Um, uh, uh, you said you wanted to hit the bar behind him. I'm fine with that. Sure. Your uh, falchion is your normal one. Yeah. This is the normal falchion. So when you smash into that wooden thing that was there, you can literally feel like the you embedded it pretty hard into the uh, into the wooden thing there. You're gonna have to make a strength check to pull it out. We also yep. do fumbles. Uh, it's the guy's turn. He um, uh, surprised by what it is that you just did there is going to immediately uh, 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 turn and start trying to run because you surprised the hell out of him. And he's so uh, uh, he can't even like get his weapon out and he just turns and he starts running because you just teleported behind him and he's like. Uh, under attack! They're inside! As he turns and, and moves move action and free action to run and say that. It's your turn again. Uh, Ophios is going to try and remove the bar then. Not the sword so, so not from the, the sword, bar, just remove the bar, the bar in the door. Strength yeah. check. <laughs> Ma'am, ouch. So anyways, um, you are, are able to go over to the bar, and it's not easy, because this thing's friggin' heavy. But you're able to... Onto the grounds, go to the other side. On the other side, hearing that happen, then uh, what's the same? Flint on the outside easily pushes the door open, and the the part of the bar that's like lying on the floor, it like somewhat easily slides out of the way, so he could get in there, not struggling to make that happen. <laughs> As uh, everybody's able to go in, that guy continuing to run, and, uh, making his way further into the uh, building. In that, Ophios would say, Rina's. A little helps. <laughs> Looking down at the sword. <laughs> <laughs> she'll look at the sword and then look at Ophios and she'll be like, that's all right, I got you. I've always got your back. <laughs> Ophios kind of like, is like upset at himself and it's just like, can you, can you just get that out of there? <laughs> Rena, roll me a strength check because I'm hoping you roll a one. Please roll a one. Do me a no. favor and just roll mm -hmm. a, little, just a little teeny tiny one. Can, can Flint help? Okay. <sighs> You grab the sword and uh, you pull it out. There's a pretty hefty notch into the blade, uh, but Flint can easily fix it when you guys have time spared. Darn it. So close. We so also you, need still need to go visit the, the smith that was making us cold Yeah, uh, th th iron. They were supposed to take over a year. It's been less yeah, than Yeah, it's going to take like next yeah. season. Um, a long time. Like, like season four, maybe we'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, so anyways, uh, you guys make your way further into the... Now, obviously, you're using a cautious approach. The question is, are you just, you know, marching ahead but being cautious? Or are you guys trying to be stealthy to some degree? Uh, I mean, Ophios would probably wait at the back this time and need actually out? summon his sword and put that sword away. If you can sneak up there... I can definitely sneak. Roll <laughs> your stealth check. All right, so I'll sneak ahead of the group and try to scout out what the hell's going on. Oh, what? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you were like, oh. How'd I do? Did I succeed? Uh, oh, yeah, I you succeeded. You are, you are, you are a good boy. <laughs> so, yeah, so you are uh, easily able to sneak ahead. What you see is that when you got finally sneak through down this hallway around the corner and where there's, there's no other actual doors between where it is that you're going and where it is that you are, because inside of this place isn't meant to be a crazy defensible position, right? Uh, the town has lots of defenses before you even get to inside that door that was a defensible position. It's just a place that should have 50 plus guards uh, around this have, has none. A place that can house an army, like a huge army, has none of that here, which is why it all seems so easy. Anyways, you go to following after this guard, kind of like yelled around corners and whatnot, and you see that where they're held up, there's literally three guards. One of them is clearly injured, and they're all waiting. The uh, last person is kind of like standing behind them and looks like a panic in their eyes as um, uh, that's all he has to defend against you guys and him. The one thing that probably can't... Uh, roll me a perception check. 
This is the thing I'm bad at. See, that's what I'm worried about. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you see. Okay. Alright. Um, yeah, I'll go back to the group and I'll relay. Uh... They got three guards. And one of them's kind of already on his way out. The other two really don't want to be there. Um, you want me to just try talking to him? Ophios looks Serena. We can... We can talk to them. Cool. What do you think, Flint? <laughs> uh, Flint passes a little gas and then turns and he's like, huh? How insightful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, uh, so, yeah. He'll follow, I'm sure. Let's go. Ophios, yeah, let's go. Ophios simply says, says, says. Uh, <laughs> he says, uh, if they speaks, so he be speaks. it. But attacks, they all die. No, I'd expect nothing less from you, honestly. Just Sorry, wait. dog issues again. But yeah, I heard everything. Oh, you're Is good. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, yeah, she's a little sick right now. Aww. What's the matter with her? She's always sick. Jesus. She goes through, she has a sensitive stomach. So she goes through mm. these periods where she throws up and stuff. It's been one of those periods. Yeah, Shepherds, gotcha. unfortunately. Wow. Yeah. So, Will, you're good with us uh, going and talking to the guards instead of... Yeah, the only thing that um, Flint would say is, uh, but maybe we should talk from a distance. Definitely. Yeah. But fine. wait for... If we are going to attack, at least wait for my cue looking at Ophios. <laughs> he'll, and, he'll, and maybe he'll let me attack first. He'll take his, his sum, now summon blade and just, just kind of uh, hilt it as well. Yep. <laughs> Okay. All right. We'll head up there, and I'll kind of be like in the front. As long as it's on his person, it can stay alive. <laughs> it's true. I'll have Flint come up beside me then. Okay. So you guys um, uh, are making way through through the halls and finally up to the room where this is. They can clearly hear you coming. There's no getting yeah. around that. So I suppose um, who presents themselves first through the doorway it's for them to see you? Obviously, keeping your distance, but you're making yourself known. I would say, I mean, I would think Ophios would be in front of Rena with his shield up if we're going to round to where we're visible. Or if we're not going to be visible, we just shout. Yeah, you'd be, again, I, I, like I said before, and you're being cautious. Like, that doesn't surprise me at all. You would have your shield up and be ready and, and whatnot. I also have a random question. Am I still on the horse? <laughs> no! no, no. The horse. <laughs> that would time. be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Like just like door marching door. through the castle, Zora on, running the, right in the on house. the back of a horse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just in your house and you hear a horse like clip clopping towards you. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no. I'm just, okay, all right. I would recommend we yell around a corner or something so they can't see us. I mean, he said they don't. There. Yeah. He said they don't. They look like they don't really want to be there. So I think yeah, we could. We'd be fine just walking up to them. Well, not like up to like. Not like. Know. Directly, you know what I mean. Like walking them till we're visible. Yeah, yeah. So we'll just kind of enter in the door, the whatever room that there or hallway that they're in, and then just stay on the other end of it. Correct. Yeah. But again, yeah. who, who's the f yeah. who's the first one leading in? Uh, I guess I will. Yeah, I, I, my assumption was Rena was. That's yeah. Rena, mm -hmm. unfortunately, Yondas failed his uh, perception check to notice awesome. that one of them had a scroll at the ready. For the first awesome. person to come through that door and they read that scroll as soon as you step around the corner starting to say whatever it is you say they finish the command of that scroll and in doing so uh prepared action of course um you need to make for me a wisdom saving throw okay nice mm. Are you happy with your 19, Rena? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. On a successful save, um, let's see, is there any, does anything even happen on a successful <laughs> save? On a successful save, Dale Wright gets. No, nothing even oh, happens. Nothing. And it's such a pwned spell from earlier editions, anyways. So nothing even happens. Nothing even happens. 
Rena, is she, for moments, is she aware that something happened though? Well, she's like, him, is there like a plume him, of smoke that like pops him up say from something, them? like like him like, finish saying a couple things as you step <laughs> around the corner, and you can literally see the scroll kind of like into itself, like dissipate uh-huh. um, uh, uh, in his hands, and you get there's a moment where you're like you can see for just a moment your darkest fears, your deepest and darkest fears. But honestly, on a day like today. You started from a prison, now you're here. You started in a <laughs> prison fine. cell, but now your whole crew is here. You just so decapitated a loper. Bottom. Now you're here. Now you're here, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, so anyways, uh, did, nothing can touch you today. Are you kidding me? That Whatever spell that was. <laughs> she just waves it. She's like, all right. <laughs> it's like vision to like smoke or whatever. Like, oh, God. She actually laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> yeah, like just... Cute. Single till I'm 30. I don't think so. <laughs> I still have three months to get married. Thank you. Dying alone? Try me. <laughs> so anyway, Honestly, sounds pretty good. <laughs> Social isolation for months? Psh, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Baby so stuff. <laughs> so anyways, Rena, you step around the corner and you see that. What do you mm. say? Do what? Because obviously they're so, all hoping it's going to work. Derek. Derek, come on! They gotta be terrified. She's just gonna say, off, right? uh, "Is that the is that the best you can do?" <laughs> like, what's the tone there? What what is the? Is it like is that the best you can do, or is that the is, is that the best you? Can do? It's exactly. Is that the just best you can like do? Pity a little bit. Okay. Kind of like somewhere between pity and sarcasm. Okay, so, like boasting almost. <laughs> <laughs> um, roll me an intimidation with that. Okay hoping that would happen does she does she have advantage because we're like big bulky standing next to her i, <laughs> I, de- I bet the dc is really low <laughs> it's probably low i mean if she wants advantage maybe somebody can give her winifred's wisdom really quickly oh. maybe oh we we already used oh. those maybe in five four three two one and i know hey you no. got did not get winifred's wisdom no. so you get to roll i know you got it you got it you got it <laughs> Really? Yeah, actually, you got one, and and Will got one too. Oh. <laughs> nice. I'm okay, gonna so I'm gonna I do haven't... something and say yeah. Uh, Your the head is still hanging off her like. Oh late. yeah, I have advantage, <laughs> huh? Thanks. All right. Uh, intimidation. Oh god. <laughs> oh, god. Wow. Really? I should have just done without it. <laughs> oh my god. Of course. So what it happens just, is doesn't you, even matter. you give wait, your wait, line. Wait, wait, wait. You uh, uh. What? No. No. You give your okay. line trying okay. to be intimidating. <laughs> it does not have the effect you hope for it to. The person that casts a scroll reaches behind them and pulls out, uh, like reaches behind them to like pull, like so reaches down to pull out their, not behind them, to pull out their sword and take a step forward. As they take a step forward, they stop and look at the very large man made out of stone standing right there and goes uh, uh. <laughs> you, you know uh we, we were just gonna let you surrender if you just want to go home um you roll a uh, that's technically a uh persuasion check there sir i'm really good at those maybe oh, oh. <laughs> i'm really to. good at those uh, uh, do you want to luck it um <laughs> you know what do I have a chance if I look it? No. No. So no. Hold no. on. Hold on. No. Excuse me. Read the room. Do you think you have a good chance? I mean, read them. Ignore them. Read the room in front of you, the NPCs. Don't. Yeah, I think I got a good chance, Derek. Roll. Roll luck guy. And waste it for my team? I don't think so. I'm a team player. Derek. You have a lot of luck. How much luck? Yeah, we can save it for next season. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, that resets luck carries the, over. Resets at the end of the season. Oh, go ahead. No, you just no. changed that. that no. No. BS. <laughs> How much luck do you have? At least three. That's not a lot. Uh, hey, chat, what do you think? What you do you think? guys use less than three a session. Double digits is a lot. We've used a lot this session. We've, We've used, used a lot at of least luck. six. Yeah. But we still have three left, which is kind of insane. Considering the session ended 13 minutes ago. Well, chat, yeah. chat seems pro luck today, so... Don't, don't do it and use don't it. Do it. Don't do it. Don't do oh, it. Oh god. All right. Use it. All right. Okay, oh, I'm doing it. Oh. Use it. There you go. Go ahead. 10. Oh, it's a 10. Great. <laughs> so, with your 10 total, you actually hear somebody say, 
so we can leave? It takes you guys a moment to identify who said it. It was the cray. Because you're like, wait, which guard said that? Oh, it was none of them. It was their leader. <laughs> Ovio oh, starts really? laughing. Ovio openly starts laughing yeah. out loud. Wow. <laughs> DC <Not> was 10. you. <laughs> 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 But no, um, Flint would look at Rena and just say, "Can I finish this?" Hang on, she's <laughs> she's interested. She's talking to him now. Uh, are you saying you'd leave your people? Um, right do now. Do we have a recording device? I need a recording device. <laughs> we can do better than a recording device. We can make him say it over and over again. <laughs> I, 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 if if I can. If I could go, um, yes. And you've no care for what happens to them after you leave. They, surely you'd let them go too. Insight check. Who? He doesn't care if you let them Me? go. <laughs> Do I have advantage or no? Wh whoever, no, regular, whoever. Uh, I want to roll insight. Oh, okay. Oh, that works. You already rolled it. Okay. Uh, yeah, he doesn't care. Surely let them go is definitely a statement of a politician, but not one of someone who cares. Yep. <laughs> he doesn't care. Uh, what, what, are, what are the people, the other NPCs doing? What are they doing? Um, like like... Two of them are scared shitless <laughs> and just don't want to be here. And one of them is kind of caught up like, I really want to fight, but that guy is very scary. Like one Ophios. of them wants to fight and die, but he's like, I think I'll just die. <laughs> I don't think I'll get to fight. I feel like Ophios is going to step forward and be like, guards, what do you decide? Um, and you went ready. As, he, is... as he's got his dark, <laughs> he's got his dark blade drawn, like like the magical blade. Roll your intimidation check, sir. Good. Do you want to spell? Oh, you didn't get one. Nobody loves you. Oh, come on. So funny. So like I said, two of the guards are like, uh... If he's not even going to stay with us, why would we even protect him? Yeah, why would we even protect him? They say, and one of them legit, the injured one, legit throws down their weapon onto the ground. Uh, Ophios just nods his head to go. Yeah, we, we kind of clear the path for him just to walk through us. He's slow at first, but once he gets through you guys, speeds up to leave the place. The other one watching him leave and seeing that there's no betrayal whatsoever, he like looks at the other guard who gives him like a sharp look like, don't do it, don't do it. And it's like guilt as he throws down the sword as well. And he also leaves, but he leaves much quicker than the first one did, granted he was injured, but much quicker than the first one did uh, to get out of there. You imagine more running from the guilt of what he's doing than, than um, fear. Marina's going to look at the one that's left and say, Wait, hold on, so you'd really, you okay, okay. Before you do, when, when the second guy walks by and starts leaving, Yandis would kind of like stop him for a second and just be like, you think maybe you could tell people about this? You. It kind of sucks to be merciful and then not get the credit for it. So, <laughs> oh, say hi to your wife for me. Do you... uh, and and, uh, and uh, <laughs> what does that her? imply? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Ophios would simply, simply uh, like if if we get that insight from the ca the leader that he doesn't give a crap about his people. Ophios would want to add. Oh, and by the way, you should tell his peoples that he doesn't care about them. I think there was I think it was implied, but you of course add that on there. Yondus, do you add any magic to that? Do you cast like charm or something like that on, on it as well? I don't or you just want say the words? To, I don't want to charm him because when it wears off, he'll know. That's fine. Then I need like, you to oh, roll a persuasion check then. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully, let's see. <laughs> oh, that's perception. Ignore that. We usually ignore <laughs> you. Would you like to luck that 13? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'll, all right, sure. I'll use another one. My last one. I'm not going to use it anymore today, though. I feel bad. Nice. Hey. Mm. There you go. That was huge. That's important. He was afraid when you stopped him, thinking, shit, I knew it was fake. But then <laughs> when you say those easy. lines and, and like say, he's like, yeah, looks back at the, the other guy, def at the, um, the, the, the leader of the Cray, and says, definitely. And then turns and leaves. Slaps his butt, yeah. I'm just kidding. kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> good man. Good man. Team player. Team player. Get out there. Hey, go get him, Tiger. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, yeah, you. Um, he he rose running out the door. Rena, you look at the other guy and say, "Um, 
Not you're gone. next. <laughs> so you're really you're really willing to to stand and fight for someone who could care less if you died here now. I don't fight for him. I fight for my. I, I fight for my country. Who's to say your country feels the same? More importantly, who says that guy is the best for your country? We have our systems. Whether or not I happen to enjoy the person that has the position doesn't mean I don't agree with the position that the, um, uh, the systems we have that put him into that position. I love my country. <clears throat> I'm willing to die for it if need be. And he kind of like readies himself with his sword. Obvious. You can see he's like looking at Rena as he's saying it, and at Messi when he's saying it, uh, Giannis when he's saying it, because that's, of course, who was speaking to him. But his eyes keep darting back over towards Flint. Like, uh. <laughs> hey, Flint, can I, can I talk uh, to you for a second? Just, just, yeah, what's up? Hey, this guy just wants to keep his honor, right? If you just rough him up a little bit and let him go, you know, what do you think? I mean, I don't think he'd let me let him go. Uh, Ophius gonna, immediately oh. just starts walking forward and says, well, let's at least make it fairs then. Me versus you, <laughs> with a smile on his face. <laughs> um, he, uh, you know, once again, is inside of his position, like his standing like battle position, and rolls initiative against you. All right. Tyler's like, I'll keep this moving. Can I, can I cast a spell on him? <laughs> hey, Ophius, make it quick, man. Yeah, we need to do this quickly. Yeah, uh, uh, Scott, is this the only way in and out of this room? Uh, if there's another way, you haven't noticed it yet. Um, you believe it's we're, the only we're way. We're keeping our eyes on the the prize. And um, uh, you get to go first, Ophios. <laughs> <laughs> Ophios immediately uses his bonus action to cast Hexblade's curse on him. And you know what? Put it in chat for me. Oh yeah, I'll put it in chat. So I always get that in the armor mixed up. And uh, he's gonna go ahead and uh, cast Armor of Agathis. Okay. <laughs> oh God! Just make him touch you. Yeah, and he's he's just gonna he, he's gonna drop uh, drop his shield as he approaches, and uh, uh, just cast and stands two handed with his Falishin. Oh, you, that messes drop... with what I was totally gonna do something. Armor of <laughs> uh, can you drop Armor of Agathis for me so that, um, uh, into chat so people can see it? Thank you very much. So uh, you drop that, and he comes at you, and he's going to attack you. Uh, Wait, before he walks up to Ophios, she's gonna she's gonna shout over to him and say, "Remember, this was your decision." Um, he's going to attack at Ophios. You say you drop your shield. Yeah, so my AC from, is a seventeen. A seventeen. Unfortunately, maybe because Rena had spoken something and distracted him because he like looked up. Oh, right it's as he was Rena's attacking. fault. He missed. Huh? Yeah, okay. yeah. And this, the light was in his eyes, and you know, oh. you know, um, the wind was um, off. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. The case ground, is he, ground is uneven here. He have to miss his attack roll against Ophios. What? A, that's so embarrassing. Uh, Ophios, let him try again. Or no. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Try again. Nope. So, Delrick, I gotta ask: Does he does he hit or? Jesus, yes, yeah. he does. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like well, I didn't roll that much damage, but Tyler, would you like to um describe? Is this describe my kill? He essentially he Mind uh, you, he you don't made... technically have to kill, but you usually do. Okay. He sidesteps and just slices slices straight through his back, two handed, straight down, and kicks him. Like kicks him to the floor after if he drops to his knees or whatnot. Yep. Is this um, it? It, it. I want to say it. It kills him. He's unconscious for sure. Um, Ophios, you hold back a little bit. Ophios doesn't necessarily want to kill him because he he commends his armor to an extent, which is unusual. But he's gonna kill him. It's just he wanted to knock him unconscious and leave him lay there and look at look at the uh, uh, Karai so to suffer. and smile. You have great honor. Time to suffer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, he stood by him and he's looking at the cry and he's smiling. 
Okay. And and he's looking to his team. If, so, if basically, if <laughs> Rina, Yandis, or anybody else wants to stop him, they can stop him. It's so he's so you're team. leaving him alive. Is that what you're saying? He's At a, the time, he's attack role. He's leaving him alive. He's more or less in five E. Remember when you drop somebody, you can choose if it kills them or doesn't kill them as part of the melee attack to drop them. He's saying I'm leaving him alive for now, but probably in a couple of rounds, you're gonna have an RP kill of him I, afterwards. Basically, I'm giving you guys the opportunity to stop him. Is to all stop Ophios? Yeah. Oh, no. Finishing to, this guy. To say to say something or do something to convince Correct. Ophios not to. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> Five. Does, does anybody Four. say anything? <laughs> Three. She's just, are you looking to, to us? Because she'll just, yeah. she'll just yeah, nod. Yeah, he would stand there. He would stand there. It, basically, you have an opportunity to speak. In the, in the quiet the moment? Dead. You can she'll, see him breathing. Yeah, she's just going to say again, um, it was his decision. I would turn to Rena and say, should I take care of the other trash? Now I now would be the time, yes. Let's, let's I cast see. Compelled Duel on the guy no, at the end no, of the no, hallway. No, 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 no. You would know, Rena, that that's not according to plan. You wanted this one to be public. Oh, the Cray? Yeah, the Cray. Yeah, the Cray. Yeah, uh, well, we just want to, okay, we just want to uh, capture him, so. Okay, either way, Compelled Duel works. Okay, okay. I'm going to make him come to me, and I'm just going to pick him up and walk away. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Um, by the way, uh, Ophio said that, decapitated the guy. Okay. Jesus Christ. I was like, no, he gets to make a wisdom save. Um, I, as always, <laughs> I roll four dice, uh, my hidden dice. My first one a total of a six. Second one was a natty Yikes. one for a total of a four. Third one was an 18. Last one was an eight. So I clearly just say, it was uh, not in the dice for me to win this. Come give daddy a hug. <laughs> And he gets really mad. He comes running at you like, like, because he's clearly not a fighter. One of those double fists. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this one's gonna grapple him. Oh, you grab him. Yeah. Um. Uh. uh it's it's an athletic check, minute. technically. Will. Oh, geez, you're gonna make him roll that. All right. I mean, it's not like he's gonna go anywhere if you fail. <laughs> he's just gonna keep following you around for a minute. Okay, and I get to roll my athletic checks counter. Um. I have zero modifier. Oh my god. <laughs> What'd you roll? A three total. Okay, great. <laughs> Pick him up. Yeah, you easily. So is, he, is he like trying to like fight out well, of his like. It was room? one of those things he got he's getting such a um Will in real life is is six foot like three, and he's kind of a big guy. So like if he gets you like a bear hug, there's not much you can do. So <laughs> it's I imagine that the character he's playing is a little bit bigger and a little bit more like Colossus. Being made yes. out of stone at the moment, stone sorcerer, right? So again, yep. bear hug. We just like, I, I'm going to try, but we all know it's futile, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, He's that's like, perfect. Um, yeah, you guys got to let Ophios have some fun. <laughs> 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 got to give him one kill, Yandis. Um, yes, I mean he got. To, well, no. He get out of it. So system. you grab him and you carry him out. Oh. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll just walk out. Uh, with him. Yeah, oh. we're walking out with him. Ophius is going to take the head of the guard as well. <laughs> what? what the hell is wrong with you, man? It's so messed up. There's a reason for his speech. Okay, so when you guys go outside, one of the things that you notice, your horses are still outside. You rode here, and word spread, both good and bad, of your coming here. There are definitely people standing outside of this building. There are definitely people that are looking after this. Is it the whole town? No. But there's a good number of them. Uh, if Ophios walks out with the head, uh, he would he, he would hide that head. He, he's saving. He's not proud of that head. No, no, no. He's, he's saving, saving, that it, head. saving it for a speech. He's saving it for a speech. <laughs> oh, oh shit! There's people. Oh no! Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Oh god! I forgot we were doing this. Uh, hey, uh, tabs microphone. This, this is from my collection. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. He'll eat it mercy. later when he turns into snake form. It's fine. <laughs> She's okay. We'll walk towards the crowd. Um. And have Flint kind of lead the way, but then sh Rena's going to look to Ophios. Rena should ride Flint. Like Ophios would say... <laughs> Piggyback style. <laughs> Ophios would simply say to the Orpheums, gather your peoples and come to the Orpheums. He would say that to the townsfolk. Hold on. Before you say that, 
You are literally standing on an elevated platform speaking out into the open air where there's a ton of people that can see you because uh, this is a spa place meant to give a speech. If you're we'll go to the Orpheum. You're like, all right, buy your tickets. Please, everybody come through this one <laughs> yeah. door to come in and filter into oh, this establishment, then, right? Then, I yeah. mean, if that's the case, because I expected us. No, this is that. this is it. This is so, what's happening. So then, then Ophios would say, "Gather the rest of your peoples, okay, and we'll listen to the guard's minutes. voice who just <laughs> came out." I mean, honestly, you say that if you want to try to convince them to gather the peoples, roll a. I don't know if it's meant to be a nice way. No, gather your friends to listen, or get the rest of them. That's intimidation that's, or the persuasion. That, your choice. It's intimidation. Are you gonna spend? Oh wait, you didn't get one because nobody loves you. No. Can I assist? No. Can I assist? <laughs> Don't need it. Jesus, there Tyler, you're go. awesome. There we okay. go. <laughs> Tyler, do you want to lock that? Want to go for twenty-five? You know, you know, twenty-five is a much better success than twenty-two. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's a fifty-fifty shot, Tyler. Come on, lock it. <laughs> <laughs> 50, it's 50 not shot. worth it. 50 50 shot. You either get it or you don't. So, um, and and uh, he would also probably grab the horse and go to get um, uh, the guy from the Orpheum. Okay, and you go spending in, uh... so much time. You know what? It's just face? going there, yes. grabbing him, coming back. I mean, so oh, the, the old man. Yeah, gotcha. the, this yes. would this would yeah. take time for you yes. to do that. You would also have to move through the crowd to do that. I kind of think this off. is where we're speaking, Ophios. He wants to get the person. He'd do it. So you go to leave to get the person. Unfortunately, because it takes a long time for you to go to do that, while you're gone, people are like, what are we doing here? What is going on? Explain! There's like a lot of calls out inside the um uh, and the, the crowd for you to, like, uh, what the hell is this? Flint would call out, sit down and shut up and wait for him to get back. This <laughs> 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 crawls applesauce right now. <laughs> he, does a, he does the clap thing. <laughs> and they all do it back. <laughs> by, the time, yeah. by the time Ophius comes back, they're like not by choice doing the wave. <laughs> you're up, you're up, you're up, you're up. <laughs> Every time I try to punish Tyler for splitting the party, every time you guys like, I'm just gonna like roll amazing. We, hey, we gotta do our best to make this work, okay? Tyler the party. He wants to do it away. We gotta okay, make it try work. Try to make it work. Yeah. Oh god. I, yeah. By the time they come back, I'm having fun with the crowd. Like I'm pointing at certain. <laughs> ones, I'm like, ah! I'm another one. <laughs> <laughs> trying, to make a song, trying to make a song out of their Oz. I imagine <laughs> Messi is playing them a tune on his banjo. <laughs> No. Oh like, no! Like, like up and down the stairs in the Museum of Science, but skip a few steps to make it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> yep. uh, hey guys, oh, don't know any songs, but if you want, I could just play a couple chords. No, I. <laughs> I know. I, I can't even refute a twenty-five. God damn it! Their patience, they wait. <laughs> they wait. They're this afraid that I'll kill them if they don't. Yeah. Well, we also got the so guy. they wait till you go get Vance, and he comes all the way back. God damn it! We also got so like, angry. Standing there between us, like so, we're surrounding the guy. Yeah. Uh, um, I imagine the, the guard that ran has talked to a bunch of people at this point. Scott, right? Um, uh, yeah, you imagine, sure. We yeah. have a reasonable crowd, yes. Yeah. Well, either that or ran home to their, you know, kids and family or whatever. Why did well, Yonda say he I would hope you? he would come back, because there's a reason for it. Because, uh, as, uh, Maybe. Oviosa would come back with, with Vance and say, and Rena, uh, Rena still say, I'll set you up. And if you also step to the podium and say, "People of <laughs> Momlis," we have a no. podium. Step to the balcony, people of Momlis. For too long, you've my fellow Momlis. Do you remember how great your city once was? No. Do you remember the pride that existed here before it was shackled down and ravaged as it is? These men are the reason that it is what it is now. Rena's here to s fix that. Make Mobley great again. <laughs> no. Oh God, like, no. Why would you do that? You say that, no. Messi. Messi, no. Messi, you get him muted. Do we get hats? <laughs> Did we get the, the bard is not allowed to speak during the speech, okay? <laughs> Back to you, Tyler. We just set him up on a horse and go. Yeah. Yeah. The worst part is <laughs> the color up. of the campaign is red. 
So you know you have like these big red regicide yeah. hats that say make mom Lee great again. <laughs> yeah. like, oh it just God. works. It just works. No. Golden right. characters. Oh God. Uh, uh, get your merch. No. You know, oh, no. No. Oh, no. no. I would not want to sell that. It would Handing be... out bumper stickers. Yeah. Oh, little yeah. axes, uh, like little baby axes. Uh, Ophios, Ophios would continue <laughs> and say, Rena's is merciful and cares about each one of you. <clears throat> each one of you. He gets rid of his accent again. Rena's allowed a guard to leave even as they were standing to defend a man who cared not about you or them, only their own, their lives. A man that we have here with us today. The, the Karai. Flint drops him to the ground. Does uh, that guy try to run, Scott? He's he's trapped on the balcony. I, I mean, honestly, I would, you guys could have bound him up or whatever at this point. But, yeah. But not really. He's kind of a wimp. Uh, I just, I'm just curious, like, how cowardly is he acting? Pretty. Okay. You can ask two of the three guards that were here. Which, he which cared but, not. Oh, sorry. You're, my, sorry. sorry. He cared not about their lives. And one stood by for his nation honorably. He pulls out the head and died for it and throws it off the balcony. So, you have a choice. And Rena is here to help set you guys free. Oh, you literally just showed this person. And threw it off the balcony. Not the headless person ahead. And then he said, Rena's here to save you. The ones who were here before are not. And he'll step away. Jake. Go ahead, Rena. Yeah, she'll walk forward. Um, But, like, as she's walking forward, she's probably standing somewhere next to Flint, and, like, he dropped the guy. So she'll drag him kind of by his, like, a shoulder arm or whatever so that he um, it's up there with her. She'll make him stand. And um, she's going to have her um, the sword. She's going to have a sword out. What size? The uh, bastard sword size. Again, again for, for chat so you don't know, she has a, a special kind of magical sword that can shrink as small as like a little sword you put inside of like a, a, a beverage you get at a bar all the way up to that of a great sword. Go ahead. So bastard sword size. Or even bigger like that one Loper did. Yeah. <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> um, she'll drag him up there and she'll she'll just kind of have the sword um, at her side not really like pointed at him but she won't let go of him either and she'll say um, are you satisfied with the leadership that you have here is this like pointing to him with the sword now um, is this who you want protecting your people Deciding your fate, creating the laws for your lives, and running you straight into war that's going to destroy everything you've created? Or are you going to be willing to fight against that? But not for me, for yourselves. Ultimately, the change starts with People like him, the ones who could care less about your lives or any of the people that make your country what it is. And so I say that this this change happens right here and it doesn't stop. And she's going to kick the back of his knee so that he falls to his knees. Okay, he does so. It's pretty... uh. Again, he's pretty timid. And what I was trying to say beforehand, I interrupted Tyler. Obviously, we know that the commander was uh, apparently a uh, loper and very powerful and very difficult for you guys to defeat. And you guys knew that when you faced the um, the accountant, somebody you'd probably expect to be a bit meek. He wasn't exactly a warrior, but he also wasn't somebody who was going to run and run run away or anything like that either. He did in the end when you killed single-handedly by yourself a sloth of guards around him. So he was like, yeah, okay, never mind. She's scary, and he was out. <laughs> but this person was timid the entire time. Very different like the other two. Go ahead. 
Um, she's not gonna, um, she'll just let, let him like stay there for a second. She'll just kind of untie the loper head, <laughs> I guess, from her belt and hold it up. Your commander is dead. Your accountant is also dead. Those two put up way more of a fight than, than he did. But that's that's where the change started, and it's going to end here and continue on. Now, I know that a lot of you have been through so much suffering and have been forced to do things that you haven't wanted to do. And I know that you deserve better than that. And this is how we can make it happen for you. I was once in your place, my homeland taken from me, my family murdered by the very people here who rule over you. I can't get them back, but I can take back the land that I've lost. And I know you can do that too. Um, Vance will actually lean in on your side since mm -hmm. Tyler did successfully go and get him. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Will. Thank you, Tyler. Mm -hmm. He does lean in on your side and he says, show them mercy. They've seen one side of you. If you have mercy in your heart, let them see that too. And he leans back. She's going to put the sword to his throat, but not, you know, just up to him, which I'm sure he'll just, I don't know, yelp or make a noise or something. <laughs> um, and she'll say, but I don't want to make the same mistakes that they've made here. And we have killed two of them. But someone who's unwilling to put themselves before their own people deserves something worse than death. And then she'll lower her sword and just kind of push him forward. Almost like into the crowd, but like towards the crowd. Are we on a balcony? Uh, not quite a balcony. I, I, wait, my apologies. Not a balcony, but like a, like a front. <sighs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like there were steps up to... Like a, a front porch. foyer almost. For, yeah, porch, like, yeah, porch sounds wrong because it's stone. You know what I mean? I don't know how the word is missing from my vocabulary at the moment, but it's not a balcony, right? Okay. Front landing, whatever it is in front of the front door. Yeah, that's all I wanted to know because yeah. I didn't know. Yep. So anyways, my apologies. So so you kind of like shove them. So if you shove them, shove them, in, like you can literally kick them down the stairs if that's what your hope is for. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, she's gonna just kind of kick them, kick him pretty hard. So you give him, so because you had already kicked on his knees, drop him onto the ground. So then you just like, uh, same mistake as before, da da da, and you literally give him a, a hard boot. Now while he's tumbling down the stairs, like literally, like it gets everybody's attention because it's not like it's a quick, <laughs> not quite, <laughs> yeah. not quite Princess Bride rolling down the hill as you wish. Right, not like that. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't get that reference, Steve, then you know what? <laughs> Shame on you. Um, so the uh, uh, while that's happening, Vance once again uh, leans in, and he's going to say very quickly because obviously you had already taken his advice once. He leans in uh, very quickly and, and um, uh, says, um, "Let them know they don't have to die because they stand against you. They have to die if they fight against you. Sorry, sorry if they don't agree with you, they have to die if they fight against you." Um. Let me rephrase that. I'm so sorry. They yeah. have to die. <laughs> it was they like, have what to die did you just say? They disagree with you. They have yeah. to die if they stand against you. Right? This guy wasn't okay. technically standing against you. Go ahead. She'll say, I guess she'll say some sort of... The same exact thing as that, basically. She'll take his advice again. But um, yeah. she'll sorry. say... Uh, um, you won't have... You won't die if you stand with me. But if you fight against me... And you may die. Because ultimately we're fighting to take back what's what's 
meant to be ours and the life that we deserve for our people. Um, what you deserve for your people. Uh, what, what, you, you finish your speech, everything's said and done. Obviously it's going to have a huge impact here that isn't easily equated with simple die rolls. But, so this goes beyond what you just roll, but mm -hmm. you do still, in fact, need to roll. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to have you roll a fame check with this one. But all the little factors that played into it, here, there, so on and so forth, I'm going to give you an additional plus five. So fame checks usually have modifiers that I give to you, but those that um, uh, uh, support the show via Patreon add to that, which is why you have a, a let, like a, plus 10 at all points in time. If you roll me a d20 with a total of a plus 15. Can I... Please, what? Give her my... No. Damn it. Uh, 1d20 plus 15, you're saying? Pull yep. a bucket, though. Yep. Okay. And you can pull a block that if you wanted to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 28. Beautiful. You can see the crowd is very um, heavily swayed for the purpose of your, um, uh, like what you've done here, what you offer, everything that you want to do, swaying these people, getting them to cheer, so on and so forth. But before I continue to describe it, I also need you to roll an infamy check with the throwing of heads and so on and so forth. Um, mm -hmm. This is going to be typically, it's at 1d20 minus 14, but you did show mercy to this last leader here. You did show mm -hmm. the willingness to stay your blade for those that don't necessarily fight against you. The same as the other side, I'm gonna give you an additional minus five. 1d20 minus uh, 19. So uh, wait, scale. what? 1d20, 1D20 minus 19. I'm supposed to have you roll them on d100s, but I was dumb and I had started with 20s for the session, so we'll just finish it that way and then go back to the normal system in the future. Negative Beautiful. 12. So, um, um, nobody seems to be standing against it. Nobody seems to be arguing at all. There are actually some cheers and whatnot inside the crowd. There's, you can tell by the mood of the crowd, they're very swayed by the words, by the actions, everything that's happening. And as this guy is, is, uh, uh, kicks down and roll down the hill to them, a few of them actually like grab him up and take him. Um, and eventually you'll come to learn where they will bring him to is they're actually going to bring him to the barracks, which had Ooh. collapsed in. Mm. So they end up using the root, uh, a building across the street from it. And they use that to keep him as a, a prisoner for some time because the magic around it have, have finally dissipated by the time that this all takes place. So they, um, uh, hold him there for a prisoner. They only keep him there for about a day or so. After that, the people choose to hold a trial for him. Ants find him guilty, and they hang him. But it was completely done by their choice. You also notice that as you guys finish the speech and go into the crowd, that they don't see just you, but all of those around you as heroes for this movement. Is everybody's name as well known or widespread as Rena the Destroyer, Queen of Vala? No, they don't, they, sorry, uh, they, they, they don't, they don't know that, but you can imagine what happens in the coming weeks being called the queen of Vala certainly inspires, um, some people's ire. We'll worry about what happens in the coming weeks soon. Um, but not right now because that speech and the outcome, that's the end of the session. That's the end of Ooh. season two. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I have a question. Can I roll stealth for having Ophios be less known? Nope. Um, Damn it. You threw a head at them and gave this first speech, buddy. Yeah, nope. that was. But I never up. said my name. Um, doesn't matter. <laughs> they know what you look like and whatnot. Obviously, not your name. So either way, um, but Laszlo might tell people because he lived. Um, either way, one huge thing was unveiled at the end of the session, or throughout the session, throughout the season. The campaign from the beginning was called Regicide. It took two whole seasons to get there, but eventually you realized why it's called Regicide. You knew that the Lopers were higher up, but now you know the family line. 
Craig Dahl. Ophios is going to be studying with Yondas. <laughs> so able to actually give us that yeah. list. Uh, for, from what your character is 22, which is a really good result, we'd be able to uh, to do. Hey, thank you for another thousand bits, Aklo. Hey, Ak, thanks. Beautiful. You guys have any other questions or whatever it is for the uh, end of the session? Any guys, any guys you want to share? Because we're not doing a big time hop like we did at the end of the last one. This is only going to end up flashing forward by about a week or so as your characters are settling into what transpired and so on. They're not a crazy time hop. And I still need to know if you intend to hunker down, which was kind of a plan we talked about briefly, or flee to the south, which is something you guys talked about uh, rather considerably beforehand. I don't need that answer now, but things to think about. Anything else on the tail end of the session? PCs, William, Rena, Messi, Tyler. The one just... note I would say, look at Ophios in season one versus season two. Yeah. It's, uh... Far less towns burning down. I've noticed that. Thank you. <laughs> Fire isn't as prevalent. Well, kind of. <laughs> oh, God. And Flint, Flint showed up, so. And, and it, Ophios would have killed that guy. If Rena didn't kill him, he would have killed him. That's fair. In season one. But season two is a different story. I like to think that because Flint isn't well known, he has like a nickname. <laughs> whatever the people are calling him, Stone, Stone Man Giant. or whatever. Oh, yeah. Stone like Giant. Something. Guys, we have to come up with a name. So in case you don't know chat, uh, what a stone sorcerer is, it is a sorcerer that focuses on uh, more constitution than, than charisma. And literally their skin turns into stone like Colossus turns to, uh, to to steel or iron, right? And he's like this big beefy guy that uses a hammer to shield and casts spells that make things go boom and crack and kabloom. Um, we need a fun sound for like I, 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 of course, think Stone Man is a stony in the skin. He gets a song? I didn't say everything about all that. We do have a bard, so... <laughs> Maybe he'll sing the Stone Man song. We have a bard that I've never heard sing. Rails on the stony man. I'm sorry. I'd rather have it be Iron Man, but oh, okay. Stone Man. Black Sabbath. Stone, stone Man. man. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> skin of stone. <laughs> I did, um... <laughs> I, can't, I actually can't remember the name of the bands that I originally spooned, man. That's um, Eye of the Pebble. What the hell is uh, what the hell's the name of that band? Dude, uh, I love Spoon Man. I have no idea what that song is. Of Iron Man? Black it's, it's Chris Seven Cornell's the singer, right? Chris Cornell's the Black singer Seven. for it. Are you talking about Sound Iron Garden, Man? Soundgarden, bro. Soundgarden. Sound Soundgarden. Sound Garden. <laughs> oh. Black Hole Sun. Black Hole Sun. Season one is posted on your YouTube, right? Scott? Season one's on YouTube. Season two's on YouTube. This session will go live on YouTube on Sunday because every Saturday's Kingmakers. Mm -hmm. uh, Sunday's so Sunday's this one, and Monday's um uh, uh sorry, this is Monday on YouTube. I do it several days later. It's every Friday. And bots night. live on Twitch for you for forty five days. However long it allows it to stay as an affiliate. It's open for everybody. Yeah. You can you don't have to be a subscriber or anything like that to do it. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. Um, so yeah, anything else you guys want to talk about for the actual session before we go, kind of like chill off uh, um, before our shilling and uh, of ourselves and whatnot. I want to find <laughs> a new crystal. <laughs> well, I need my axe, dude. The one I am infused. There's a reason we kept the body, Rena. <clears throat> Yeah, it's true. You actually. got that vial of blood for a reason. That's why huh? I got in the blood. Oh. I know. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, well, um, we're going to have everybody tell about where you can find them. The last thing I will say is if you did want to support the show in an additional way that isn't here, over on Patreon, you can actually have huge impacts on the show, including uh, people like Vance, people like uh, Laszlo, who you probably don't know if you're a newer viewer because he was barely mentioned today versus actually seen on screen. These were actually made by viewers, made by patrons over on Patreon uh, of a certain tier. So uh, Vance and the way that he had advised Rena and kind of like the calm patience, it's there's no concern in the PC's mind as to whether or not this person is going to screw them over eventually. They were literally introduced in the campaign as for the full purpose of aiding them and guiding them to be successful. Unless, of course, you're of the tier where you can make a villain, in which case, well, that's a different conversation. We'll worry about that next season. Um, uh, who, 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 who are we going to have go first? Um, Tyler, do you have Our, something exciting happening um, at the I moment? I think Rena should go first Rina? as our fearless leader. Rina, our fearless leader, oh, Rena's no. so oh much better of an idea. Way better. Me? Okay. All right. Well, hi. I am Rena the Destroyer. Um, you can basically find me everywhere under that name. I've got uh, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch here. But I am a variety streamer here on Twitch mostly. I am playing Animal Crossing. I'm actually going to be playing... Um, 
the entire final season of The Walking Dead tomorrow. Ooh. Like, all day. So, well, or start to finish. Huh? I know what I'm doing all day. Yeah. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I have never played through the final season before. It'll be my first time playing through. I've played through the rest of it already. Um, but that's my plan for tomorrow. And otherwise, I stream Animal Crossing, Nintendo games, um, RPGs, God of War, you know, all sorts of things. Um, you should play yeah. Risk of Rain soon. F F Risk of Rain, I uh, want to definitely play. play this weekend, so I've bad. played Kingdom Two Crowns with Scott here. Um, as we need well. to beat that. We get, you, you, are you going to be the first person I beat the game with? So yes, yeah, everybody else sucks. So. Oh yeah. Um, fun definitely. fact: the only reason why Rena's even here on the show is because I used to watch her streams, <laughs> and she's amazing. <laughs> so I was like, "Wow, you're awesome!" And she's like, "I like compliments," and that's the only reason why she's here. <laughs> That's it. That, that lead up was yeah. something else. Yeah. By the way, just so you guys know, the only reason, the she's here. only reason she's here, <laughs> it's because she's right. awesome. It's because I'm a I'm a cyber stalker. It's the only reason. Okay. No. Exactly. All right. Okay. <laughs> and the only reason Will's here is because of nepotism. So that, that is actually much. Not, yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Brother from another mother, literally. So, anyways, oh, wow. um, Tyler, what have you been up to? What, what do you have going on? What exploded recently? Well, uh, what exploded recently? Uh, Ophios' sword and his mm -hmm. crystal, but mm -hmm. you know, hopefully those can get fixed somewhere along the lines or something happens. But uh, I posted my second YouTube video this week, so this is the first week wave where I've posted two YouTube videos. One is on one I posted on Wednesday, and one I posted today. It's pretty popular. Um, which today is, was reaching my hundred thousand subscriber milestone and unlock uh, opening my uh, silver play button and stuff. I've been at 100 subs for far too long, but I, I had that package and I just now opened it. So that's up. Um, that's a fun little video that I did. Uh, and I am working on so many things behind the scene. You guys heard of this thing called Hope From Home that's happening on April 7th that involves Tiltify and Jacksepticeye and is combining three different charitable e efforts across the globe for relief and help with people that are most affected by COVID-19. Um, I am working behind the scenes on that and working on a number of different things on that front. So if you guys haven't heard of it, you guys can be a massive support if you want to. There's a sign-up sheet and all kinds of stuff you can go to and find out about. But that's coming up Tuesday next week, April 7th. Um, huge initiative, huge global thing. Just so you guys know, even if you think you don't have an influence on people, you do. If you have anybody who follows you on Twitter or anything like that, you have family members, you have an influence there. And you, if you are in a position to help, I would never ask anybody who is struggling right now to send help to other people. Take care of yourselves first. This is a very difficult time. Make sure you're doing the social distancing, wash your hands, all of that stuff. But please consider being around for those streams, supporting, whether it's watching, sharing, stuff like that or even doing something on your own, posting on social media. You can create your own fundraising campaign if you want to do that. It is a huge initiative. All are welcome to do what you can to help support. Big, small, doesn't matter. You have an impact and recognize that, just like you have a major impact on this game. So um, that's something I'm working on behind the scenes in a lot of ways. So hashtag hope from home. Uh, it's bands together with the United Nations Foundation. Um, Comic Relief, which is Red Nose Day, uh, helps with with that. And then also um, the United Way uh, Worldwide are the three three charities that have band together and are being supported by this. And they help things from economics to health to all kinds of things with related to COVID-19. So please check that out. I've been, I've responded to so many emails today <laughs> on that. So uh, doing a lot with that and posting on my YouTube video and streaming on my channel and doing all that stuff. So you can check me out on twitch.tv slash apocalypto12 or apocalypto underscore 12 on Twitch, but apocalypto12 on YouTube and apocalypto underscore 12 on all social media. In fact, I'm hoping to recruit Scott to do a D&D campaign. That's right. We have to find out what home. day I can guarantee doing it. So, so um, uh, well, the reason why it's not a solid yes is because everybody's life is a little weird right now. I'm not going to yep. complain because... I am one of the very few people in my entire company that's not furloughed at the moment, but it does mean I'm working from home and things are nowhere near what life usually is. But Tyler, if we can get that cast of people you were talking about together, that game is going to be uh, a little interesting. Let's just say that yeah. and we'll leave it alone. So yeah. um, um, uh, 
moving on. So um, anyways, Messi, um, I don't understand why you're using the wrong Twitch name. Explain. Uh, yeah, so I changed my Twitch name because I'm changing my branding. I didn't want the cat anymore. So your Messi was taken? Yeah, because Messi was taken. <laughs> <laughs> so is it literally going to be Messi was taken on all platforms? Yeah, it is. Really? It is. Spent, it's very four popular. Days, four days looking for a username with the word Messi in it. Every single one was taken. Even some really bad ones. Like ones where I was like, there's no, there's no way. I type it in. Nope, username's taken. I'm like, oh my God. You, you, could, no you could just move away from the word messy. We, we wouldn't complain. We'd pretend What'd like it never existed. Yeah. Everybody oh, yeah, calls him messy. Yeah, so but you, you know, this is only because he is messy, but he could upgrade. He could be, you know, neat freak. That's his name, dude. Snaga. <laughs> like, that's Look neat. at Snaga's message in chat. <laughs> I did. It's true. Oh, it's gone. I don't worry. I don't worry. <laughs> It's taken. Joey! Is, I actually That's so that. good! Oh, That's Jesus. Funny. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'm just saying you're missing out hardcore. I really hope you eventually come <laughs> over to uh to, to Twitch, because, oh, man. Um, uh, anything, so, so you're rebranding. I have to update yep. the link to make sure we have the correct uh, channel on there yeah, for you. I mean, cool. What are you working on, man, boy, uh, person? Stuff. It's, uh, all right, so... I can tell you off camera, but basically nothing until like July, August. Okay. But I'm starting. Okay. And hopefully sooner, but you know, I'm just getting my cards in a row before I deal them. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Well, I wish you the best of luck with that. I mean, um, I'm still going to be here every week, right? So, Wilhelm. Right? Are you? Uh, uh, Wilhelm. R right? Are right. You, what, what are you up to? <laughs> Um, staying at home because, you know, everyone's staying at home. However, within the next week or so, maybe, maybe two weeks, maybe, but probably the next week or so, I'm going to be giving my YouTube channel a revamp and going to start putting out new content there. So you guys can go check that out if you'd like. Um, it's youtube.com slash by the way, uh, same as my name on Twitch. And or will, I'll just link it. Will, for, the, you for the long time viewer of the viewers of this campaign. Are we going to see more of of um, uh, Flint? Flint in season three of Regicide? Oh, I no. mean, I'm not. I'm not going to say no. <laughs> does, does that mean yes? <laughs> it means I'm not going to say no. Every campaign William has ever left within has three ended sessions. within a, within a week. <clears throat> so three, you know, multiple sessions sometimes. Um. Eberron ended, I think, in three sessions with Will Graham, two or two three. sessions. Yep. Hopefully, we'll be a lucky one and get three more episodes out of this show. <laughs> <laughs> Aha, I, I linked your, your channel correctly. I'm happy. There we go. Ooh, Hello, thank Hello. you. Sir. Hello, Aklo. Thank you very much. And um, uh, more Flint, please. Um, all right. And um, yeah, so we will um, we will uh, uh, see you soon. So don't forget to check out uh, YouTube to catch up if you're new to the channel. Uh, totally look for when we go live if you're not already watching more interesting people like, you know, uh, Tyler or Pat. Um, and uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, thank you guys so much for supporting, for hanging out. Um, and look at the other shows. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm getting on it. Oh, I also have my, I, f I should probably say, I have another Twitch channel too. So I have this one by myself. And then my buddy Mathis Games and I um, have a partnered channel called uh, Lost Initiative Show. Um, the show got put in there because Mike's terrible at branding, even though I, I came up with the name Lost Initiative, but Lost, Twitch TV says Lost Initiative Show, uh, where we have a really cool cast of people that play a Star Wars game over there. Uh, Tyler was on that show before for a previous campaigns that we played or whatever, but anyways, so, um, go check it out. It's fun and stuff. Who are we writing? Oh, yeah. Duh. He always Duh. forgets. We Duh. Duh. I know. I always Duh. have to say it's, it. It's yeah. two in the morning. It's two in the morning. I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. we've already ran an hour over. So he's like, he's like um, please let it in. Actually, none of the people I follow are currently live. Uh, well, guys, do you have any fun friends that are live right now? Who are you going to go raid? You know, you know who I I'd do. like to raid, who's a smaller streamer yeah. that raided me once? Ambrose Fox. A-M-B-R-O-S-F-O-X. Well, well let, me, let me go to the away screen. So bye, everybody. And stick around for a couple minutes. Spam chat. Apparently, that makes you um, more likely to hop in on the raid. So no. even if you just Join put like, an you or a single character in chat, you whatever it is. I'll ban you. All right. <laughs> let, 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 let's go away. And I will make that happen. What is the, uh, the name again, Tyler?